Hi, I am your new friend, Dobit Adam. That's Adam, the AI-powered humanoid robot from a Chinese industrial automation leader that just entered mass production. Shenzhen Dobot is entering the race toward fake humans with a massive head start. While countless startups hustle, trying to break into the emerging field, Dobot has already proven it can scale production of novel robotic products. Its robots are already integrated into complex workflows at some of the world's largest manufacturers. The Kickstarter success story climbed to the upper echelon of the global industrial automation sector in less than a decade. With its advanced artificial intelligence and global reach, the company now has a path toward world domination. If AI robots ever do take over, there's a good chance they could trace their origins back to Shenzhen Dobot. Jerry Liu and Lang Zulin founded Shenzhen Dobot in July 2015. They launched their first product, a lightweight robotic arm named Dubot, via a Kickstarter campaign later that year. The campaign was a runaway success, raising more than $600,000 against an initial goal of only $36,000. The early triumph attracted the attention of investors, and by April 2016, the startup had secured $3 million to accelerate its robotics R&D. The original Dobot featured a four-axis design and weighed about 3 kilograms. Its structure combined aluminum and ABS plastic to balance strength and lightness. Optimized for desktop tasks, it delivered precision within 0.2 millimeters, matching or beating many entry-level desktop robots that cost thousands more. It cost less than $1,000 during crowdfunding, while similar products often sold for $10,000 or more. Unlike most industrial arms, Dobot supported multiple end effectors, including grippers, 3D print heads, and lasers right out of the box. Dobot filled a void between do-it-yourself kits and high-end industrial arms from vendors like ABB, KUKA, Fanuc, and Epson. It weighed much less and was much smaller than typical robots, so users could easily set it up in classrooms, makerspaces, or home labs without special infrastructure. While Dobot offered fine precision and flexibility, it couldn't match the speed, load capacity, or ruggedness of large industrial arms used on factory lines. By the time Dobot emerged in the 2010s, the hardware for industrial robotic arms had been more or less perfected over decades of development. Unimate became the first robot arm used for manufacturing in 1961. General Motors installed the robot, developed by Connecticut-based Unimation, at its plant in New Jersey to handle hot die-cast metal parts. By the 2000s, robots inspired by Unimate worked in factories worldwide, handling welding, assembly, packaging, and other tasks with speed and precision. When Dobot launched its Kickstarter, robots had matured to become smarter and safer with sensors and artificial intelligence. Their use spread into smaller factories, but they were still rare in schools, labs, and small businesses due to high costs. Dobit's arm connected to a PC or microcontroller via USB or Bluetooth. Users controlled it with custom software, basic code, or by manually teaching it through a record and play function, or even using a brain-computer interface. By 2016, Dobit's founding team grew into a small company with expanded engineering staff as they translated their prototype success into full-fledged products. Dobot later released a robot called Moose, a small, all-in-one machine that can 3D print, laser engrave, and carve designs into materials. Priced under $700, it unlocked the ability for people to easily create custom objects at home or in a classroom. As Dobot matured, its focus shifted from hobbyists and students to industry. Its CR series of cobots, introduced in 2019, could handle real manufacturing tasks. 
Priced from around $15,000 to $35,000, the collaborative robots generally cost 20 to 40% less than established brands. The lower entry costs, coupled with streamlined setup, broaden their appeal to first-time automation buyers and cost-conscious markets. Nilbot became China's top industrial robot exporter in 2021. With 13% of the global market share, Dobot is the largest Chinese cobot maker and the second largest globally. It's behind Denmark-based Universal Robots, which has more than 40% of the world's market share. Dobot's success opened up funding opportunities for other collaborative robot ventures in China like Jaka Robotics, Avo Robotics, Elite Robot, and Wyan Robotics, formerly known as Hans Robot. David Rieger, the founder of Hans Robot, relocated the firm to his home country of Germany in 2019 and rebranded it as Neuro Robotics. In December 2024, Dobot became the first Chinese cobot manufacturer to go public. Listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, the company raised $87 million in its initial public offering. Dobot has deployed over 72,000 robots across more than 80 countries. It's established offices and subsidiaries in several regions, including Japan, Germany, and the US. Dobot invests heavily in R&D, filing more than 1,300 intellectual property applications and holding nearly 1,000 patents. Today, Dobot is one of at least dozens of Chinese companies rushing to bring humanoid robots to the masses. Dobot unveiled its first bipedal humanoid robot in March 2025, coinciding with their entry into NVIDIA's physics AI global partner ecosystem. Development began several years earlier. The humanoid named Adam is a full-sized, bipedal robot designed to work in both industrial settings and service scenarios. Adam stands about a meter and a half and weighs 62 kilos. The robot walks with straight knees, which Dobot says cuts power use by 42% during locomotion and allows for a more natural gait. Adam has five fingered hands with 12 degrees of freedom in the fingers for gripping objects and using tools. The robot boasts 41 degrees of freedom across its body. According to Dobot, Adam achieves fine motor control that's precise enough for handling fragile items. A demo video shows Adam picking up a cherry by the stem without squashing it. Adam's AI brain runs on Dobot's Robot Operator Model 1. Dobot says the AI system has 100 million parameters that allow Adam to perceive its surroundings and make decisions in real time. Onboard Edge Computing delivers up to 1,500 tops for AI processing for sensor data and controlling high-frequency movements. Dobot says multiple atoms can coordinate with each other thanks to built-in communication and edge computing the company says is seven times more powerful than typical setups. Adam is positioned as a cross-industry worker, essentially a general-purpose robot to take on repetitive or tiring tasks traditionally done by humans. Adam's pricing is particularly disruptive. At around $27,000, the humanoid is significantly cheaper than machines in its class like Unitree's H1, which starts at around 90 grand. The price point is about what perceived leaders in the humanoid robotics market, including Tesla, are targeting once they scale production. Dobot and other Chinese firms have the upstream advantage as they control key parts of the supply chain, including motors, sensors, and precision components allowing them to scale faster at lower costs. Dobit's flagship humanoid model is called the Atom Max. A lower-end model, called Atom Trainer, has 29 degrees of freedom in its torso with optional hands or grippers. Another variant for data collection has a dual-arm upper body mounted on a base. Dobit's Hong Kong-listed shares surged nearly 28% when pre-orders opened for Atom in March 2025. Dobot says its robots are being piloted at several leading Chinese automotive factories, electronics manufacturing plants, and even coffee shops. 
The company expects to expand its overseas footprint considerably into 2029, including setting up at least three new foreign subsidiaries and building out regional marketing and support teams. As of its IPO, Dobot was already deriving around 60% of its revenues from outside China. Shenzhen is known as the city of innovation. The robotics industry has developed rapidly in recent years. It brings together more than 1,000 robotics-related companies. Shenzhen's government is actively supporting the humanoid robotics sector, aiming to build a nearly $14 billion industry by 2027. For more on the range of humanoids emerging from Shenzhen and the rest of the world, check the related video.